Hello everyone and welcome back to Humble Heart Horsemanship. My name is Sabrina. This is my horse Gunner. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to correctly tie a rope halter. Let's get into it. All right, you guys, so this is your standard rope halter. And rope halters are really great to use, especially if you're doing groundwork with your horse. Um, if you look at the rope halter here, you're going to notice that there are individual, very distinct knots, okay? So there's a knot here, there's a knot here, there's also a knot on the side. Some rope halters have more knots than this, but the knots are there to provide extra pressure points at distinct parts on your horse's face. And so they're really good for doing groundwork with your horse because your horse can't easily as lean into uh, what you're asking when they're wearing a rope halter as they could with a nylon halter like this that has really, really flat um, pieces. So see how this is all flat, there's no knots. That's pretty comfortable. And nylon halters that are flat like this are really good for if you are tying your horse up, if you're trailering them. Uh, but I like to use rope halters if I'm doing ground work especially. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off Gunner's nylon halter that he's wearing right now. And you're gonna see me unbuckle his halter and put it around his neck. And I do this because if you were to decide to start walking off, I have something around his neck to pull him back to prevent him from escaping. And then open up the rope halter here, okay? And my horse's nose is gonna be sliding right through there. And then you can see a little bit down here, might be out of frame a little bit, but there's a long rope that's hanging. That longest rope you're gonna grab Reach your hand over, grab the long strap, pull it behind your horse's ears, and then if you look down here, you see that there is this loop, okay? You're gonna take the tail end of the piece that you pulled behind your horse's ears, and you're gonna pull it in from behind the loop. You'll see it just like that, okay? And then from here, you're going to make a u-shape that's sideways so you see how that's a u-shape sideways and the u is opening up facing the back of my horse and then this little tiny tail part right here we're going to pull back behind and into that open loop okay i'm going to pull it into that open u okay and your goal is to have the tiny tail end be pointing towards the back of your horse like that. So I see a lot of people put rope halters on where when they're done tying the rope halter up, the tail end is pointing forward. And that means that you probably did it backwards and incorrectly. So just refer to this video if you need help with figuring out how to correctly put on a rope halter. And then I'm gonna remove the nylon halter around Leonard's neck and you have your rope halter on correctly. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that this has helped you. I know a lot of people are confused about how to correctly tie a rope halter, and it can be a little confusing at first, but with lots of practice, you'll have it down in no time. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe for more videos just like this one. And Gunner here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.